What's going on everybody? BMW Vic here at BMW of Bridgewater. Now, what I'm about to do is get into this gorgeous 2024 BMW i4 M50. And no, I'm not gonna talk about the amazing specs, the range, the horsepower, the torque. What I am gonna talk about is something that is on everyone's mind, and that is range. So I'm gonna show you a little trick on how to maximize your range by doing regenerative braking. Come on in. All right, so now that we're actually inside the car, I'm actually gonna show you how to get to it on the all new BMW iDrive 8.5. First thing you wanna do is click on the four square here. This is for all of your apps. This is gonna pull up this screen that you see here with all of the apps and all of the shortcuts to get there. Now, one of the cool things too is if you want to organize a certain way, you can press, hold, and then drag to wherever you want it. That'll be the easiest way so you're not fumbling through the menu trying to find something, especially while driving, which I don't recommend. Click on the four square. It's gonna give you this menu. Click on drive settings. If you see that, it's highlighted. Click on driving settings. You have driver assistance, which is all of your lane departure warnings, your front braking, your blind spot, all of your safety features. You have your charging, which you can set up for fast charging or slow charging. I'll do another video on that to get really in depth with that. But what we're gonna focus on today is the drivetrain and chassis. So we're gonna click on this. Now, right up top, you're gonna see energy recovery in D. So right now, we're gonna click on this and we have low option, medium option, high option, and adaptive. Now, in the adaptive setting, it really does adapt to your current driving. So let's go over all of these here. We're gonna start with low. Low, when you're driving and you release your foot off of the throttle, it's going to give you more of that traditional feel. Medium, once you let off the throttle, it is going to apply a little bit of brake. The high, well, you guessed it. This is basically BMW's one pedal driving. When you're driving in a BMW EV, it's not like riding in a golf cart or a go-kart where it only goes if you give it throttle. This, once you put it into drive, you can coast and idle out of your parking spot, out of your driveway, which makes it very user-friendly and a much smoother experience to drive. The last thing you want is to be jerking all over the place. It's horrible. So if you like that one pedal driving, go into high. If you like that more traditional feel, keep it in low. So adaptive, if you are driving spiritedly or if you're just coasting down a highway, the adaptive setting really, it really works amazing by applying the right amount of regenerative braking to your driving style in that current moment. Really cool. Now I do want to show you one other thing underneath here. We have this iconic sounds. So what this does, you click that on. Now we have the sounds of Hans Zimmer, the one and only. If you don't know who he is, look him up because he is an amazing composer, especially for all the movie scores, such as some really hot titles that I'm sure that you're bound to know. So this gives you the sensation of speed. In an all-electric car, it's so quiet, especially in a BMW, with the way they insulate everything. There's no road noise, there's no wind noise. You can actually have a conversation like this and still be heard, it's amazing. But I talk at this volume, so guys, Thank you so much for tuning in. I am gonna be making some more videos on how to operate some of these new EVs. And of course, I'm gonna keep it real and show you some M3s and M4s and definitely cool stuff like that. But check me out on BMW Vic, on Instagram, YouTube, and definitely BMW of Bridgewater. We have some really, really cool content coming out that I can't wait to share with you guys. Give me a call, 908-437-8721. I'll talk to you soon.